Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm going to be cleaning out the inside of my wife's propane grill. I showed you how to season this grill. You want your food not to stick? This is a very, well, aside from the can kind of doing what it's doing, this is a very important step. You'll season these cast iron grates and make them non-stick. Then things won't stick. I showed you how to clean the outside of this grill. So here we go. Now I'm going to make sure that the day is actually overcast or it's cloudy or it's first thing in the morning so that we don't have any issues as far as the sun burning or baking this cleaner on. And as you can see, it went on effortlessly and it's coming right off effortlessly. Now I'm gonna show you how to clean the inside of this grill. This is one of those things that a lot of people don't necessarily do and it can lead to a fire if you don't. Hey yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so here we are back out at my wife's propane outdoor oven or the propane grill. So we're gonna need a couple tools. I have a scraper and I have a glove. So the glove, pretty self-explanatory actually before I get down in there I'm going to use the scraper to scrape any big particles off of the grill grates and we're just going to get them down into the into the bottom of the grill there because we're going to clean all of this out of course we're not going to we're not going to make this perfect That's good enough for government work. Now, of course, you could use a brush to do this, but the key is you wanna do this while the grill is cold. Obviously, the colder it is, the easier it will be to stick your hands in there and you won't have to worry about burning yourself. So that's why I'm just using a scraper for now. And the glove, we're gonna use the glove to take the grates out. Then we're gonna use the scraper to get down in all of the edges and break up any of this big debris. And then lastly, we're gonna use a portable vacuum to get all of the, the, the debris out. Now you could just use like a simple, like a, a small broom and a dustpan if you don't have a portable vacuum. Now I'll get my glove on. And the glove is gonna help me get my grates out as well as disassemble these things down here. Now, one of the things that most people don't know is these grates are actually, you can, you can turn these grates upside down and you can cook on these grates this way or this way. The next step, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape any debris that's on these little flavorizer bars or whatever they, they would be. They're little tents that go over the propane, where the, where the propane jets come from. Now, if you wanted to or needed to, these pins take come out and you can actually replace these or remove these bars as well. Well, we're gonna work around that today, but I am gonna try to get any of this grease and debris that's in here all down towards the bottom and then we're gonna vacuum, get it vacuumed out. All 
all right so now at this point i'm going to go ahead and get my vacuum started up and then just get all of the the gunk out of the bottom and once that's pretty much it we'll do any other we'll scrape anything else up and we'll get it all out All right, so now that the grill is cleaned out, all we have to do is reassemble it. I'm going to get, I'm going to get a, another glove on. We're just going to go ahead and reassemble it. Put the burner covers back on. Now your mileage or your grill may vary on how these go back in, but on this one, it's just a matter of putting them in the groove in the front and then they sit on a little, like a, a rest in the back. All right, and then the grapes. Now your grapes may, of course, vary. All right, so there you have it. Just a quick and easy way to clean out the inside of your grill. That is the easiest way I found to clean out the inside of the grill. I usually do that one to two times per year, depending on how much use the grill is actually getting. With the fact that we are stuck at home uh, or sheltering in place, my wife has actually been using her grill a lot more than normal. Normal will be about once per week. We've been using it two or three times per week. So she asked me to clean it out and I figured I'd show you guys how to get it done. Anyway, roll the outro. Oh, bottom, baby. <laughs> Thank you guys again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Speaking of live, I go live every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Two hours, first hour we talk about barbecue and or something barbecue business related. Second hour we kind of shoot the breeze, talk amongst friends. Make sure you bring a, a, a cool refreshment with you. Anyway, thanks again as always for watching. I'll see you next time.